What's up guys, Black Holes here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2020 for yet another classic. This time we are heading uh, towards the Strade Bianche, the white roads in Siena for uh, what is by many considered one of the monuments uh, of the cycling season, even though it um, got its World Tour registration a couple of seasons ago, it is considered by many uh, a staple of uh, the um, UCI calendar with a lot of riders uh, going to Siena to try and uh, defeat or master, should I say, the, um, the white road and the white terrain, which we've seen uh, also on the Giro, obviously in the years, um, in the 2010 season, I think. Um, and we shall see later this year as well, I think, some, uh, some white paths on the um, Italian Grand Tour. But... We've got our start list, 2020 parkour. My bad, I didn't click on the correct one. There we go, 2020 parkour. For this Strade Bianca, it's very similar to, I think, this year's. I don't think it changed, actually. Uh, across all of these classics, I've usually taken a team that's uh, slightly worse than most of the, um, of the teams competing in the race. Uh, last year, I took Vinny Zabu because they had Giovanni Visconti. He's now at Bardiane. However, I'm not going to take them uh, I just despise their kit, and also, I mean, I did the challenge last year, and it didn't work well, um, and because this is actually a race I, I do enjoy, I, I really like the Strade Bianca, I decided to go for a team that maybe would give me a bit more chance. Um, I thought about doing Kubeka, but I might take them later this year, um, quite soon, actually. So I've decided to go for Lotto Sudal. They've got Tim Wellens as a very decent leader, but then the rest of the team around him is quite weak. I mean not incredible it's not the worst but it's not incredible uh so i figured it could give me a decent challenge uh and yet have a chance at winning the race with the massive start list we have right now in uh in italy team Wallens is far from a favorite but do not count him out as we start the strade Bianca. and it's a good day for team Wellens, uh plus three for our leader which is absolutely perfect as uh we definitely want to win here in um in siena uh, Gonzalez with a new... Wait, hold up. Is that the guy... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Is that the guy that was on... On the Ventoux? Because if so, I'm pretty sure I had... I'd, I'm pretty sure I changed this kit. Okay, maybe I didn't. I don't know. Uh, Andras Kron do not go in the breakaway. Speaking of breakaway, who do we have right now? We've got Vigar Steklangen, Jonas Gregor, Gianluca Brambia, uh, with a very strong preseason. Uh, or early season, sorry, should I say, for uh, the Italian winning the um, Tour du Var and des Alpes Maritimes. Uh, Hector Carretero is in pursuit, and we're about to have a four-man group at the front of this Strade Bianca. We've um, entered the main climb of this Strade Bianca, the um, Per Montalcino. Uh, I don't know what BV means. Uh, I know it's something through Montalcino, but I don't know what BV is. Uh, we've got a two-point, uh, sorry, we've got a four-man group with a 245 gap on the peloton. Uh, Andras Kron did join the breakaway. Um, the peloton really paced a lot until the summit of uh, Ville di Corsano. And at this point, uh, the rhythm just really went down. So I decided to uh, take my chances and send someone in the breakaway just in case. Uh, if I just... I mean, we, we all know that the roads are very narrow um, in the Strade Bianca. Comes to the final like 80, 90 kilometers. So having someone up front allows me to at least potentially have a teammate with Team Wellens uh, should things go sideways with the rest of my team in the peloton. But yeah, the gap uh, is steadily, um, well, has been steadily increasing until that three minute barrier. The, it really is the, the mark that the peloton doesn't want us to, to go above. Um, so the chances of the breakaway going to the end are extremely slim right now. However, as I said, we do have someone in the breakaway, which is great as we'll try and set up Team Wellens towards a uh, hopefully win great stats fucking hell i've just realized the stats of team wellens he's got 70 everywhere or above well 70 or above everywhere uh even without a plus three so really really cool stats from uh from uh, Miss, mr wellens right there uh as we're gonna have a massive massive white road here in chelamonti and i didn't really see that coming but bauke molema has attacked with loic vliegen thomas pickock and lilian kalmajan Rob Stannard is slightly delayed in his attack. Um, we're going to have Bauke Molema and Gianluca Brambilla at the front of this race right now. Okay. So the two main leaders of Trek Segafredo will now be in the lead. Interesting. 
The good thing is that means I'm not gonna have to do any work with Andreas Kron because there'll be two riders from Trek. Okay. That's an interesting tactic from them. Alright, things are taking an uh, an interesting turn to to say the least. Um because we only have a twenty seven men peloton right now. Um this group might come back here with the likes of Brent Van Meur, Kevin Jeunietz, uh Romain Bardet. Romain Bardet is drawn for the team DSM. I'm guessing he's the leader of the uh, German outfit. That's quite odd. Tade Pogacar also caught up behind. Uh, this group might not come back. This group might not come back. I don't know who uh, would have to pace here in this group. Definitely not me, that's for sure. It's, it shouldn't be Tom Schoens either because his two leaders are in the breakaway. Uh, interesting. There's been a lot of um. Well, there's been a massive increase of rhythm in um in the peloton towards the end of uh San Martino in Grania, which led to this 29 men group. Simon Carr trying to take uh, the lead of the peloton. Ivan Garza Cortina is the one currently uh putting the rhythm down, which is odd as well because I don't consider him being the leader of the team. Uh, sorry, I considered him being the leader of the team. Uh, I'm gonna guess he's pacing for Alejandro Valverde, which could make sense realistically. Okay, interesting, interesting. Here's Julien Philippe right next to Mathieu van der Poel. No signs of Marc Hirschi either for UAE. Uh, there's some, uh, some controversy right now with, uh, with the Swissmen. Uh, acceleration from uh, De Koenig. Okay. As long as I stay with van der Poel and with Van Aert, I am safe. Here's Ballerini, the man in form right now uh, for, uh, for uh, De Koenig Quickstep. He could have a card to play, but uh, do keep an eye out on the Italian rider for... Uh, for La Primavera. That's, uh, that's my tip. Sure, he's gonna have Ala Philippe in his team, Sam Bennett, Badjoli, but keep an eye out. Andres de Venance really putting the hammer down right now. Uh, Van der Poel directly in the wheel. He's already in second position, the uh, Dutch champion. That's quite high. Um, with more than 45k to go. I so Matej Mohoric maybe uh, trying to go for a move here. Maybe uh, ambitious from the Slovenian. There's no descent um, in the program. And the Super Turk is still allowed because we're not in April. Crash. Thomas Pitcock just fell. That's an L. That is a big L for, uh, for Tommy Pitcock. I'll try and bring him back because I'm a nice lad. Also because I do like Thomas Pitcock. I'll try and bring him back with Frédéric Frison. Take my wheel, lad. And let's go back in the peloton. I mean, he could help Mihal Kutkowski, which eventually... Which, um, eventually Will most likely beat me, but it's it's fine, right? He he dropped out not because of a leg issue, but because of a of a bike issue or just a lack of handling. I I can't afford to uh to have him come back. Also, who the fuck attacked? Luig Vliegen, Kalmerjan, Vigarst Vigarstik Langen is doing very well here because he was the first rider to attack in these Strade Bianche. He's still in the first group with Andreas Kron as well, doing very well. Our um our own uh. Undane and Timo Lenz is also here. R the rhythm has uh, started to slow down just a tad as there's once again an attack in the in the breakaway. It's Lilian Kalmajan going for a move, and no one really uh, chases the Frenchman down. That is odd. If they're expecting me to pace, then you lot appear to be m dumb. Because I'm not the one that needs to pace here. I will, however, increase the rhythm in the peloton with Tim Wellens. There's an acceleration from Matej Mohoric here. Kron is going to wait for Tim Wellens. Because Frédéric Frison is dead. Good. Kron in the wheel of, uh, of Tim Wellens right now. 22k to go. More crashes in the, um, the peloton. Michael Scher, Marco Marcato, Daniel Oss falling. 36 seconds for Kalmejan, Bauke Mollema, Rob Stan and Vigar Steklangen is no more. As Tim Wellens bridges the uh, gap to the Norwegian. No one wishes to relay with me. Interesting. There we go, that's what I was expecting. An attack from Mathieu van der Poel. Tim Wellens directly in the wheel of Junior Lafilippe, the world champion, in fourth position right now. Alright, Tim Wellens doing well. We're going to come back on Bauke Mollema and on Ilion Kalmejan. No breakaway anymore. In the final 13 kilometers of this race, Wout van Aert going for a move in uh, this little climb of Le Tolfe. Okay, Julien, I need you to hold on right now because I'm really happy in your wheel. 
Big attack by way of an art. Very big attack. Valverde cannot follow. Stefan Kung trying to uh, hold on, but I'm not sure the Swiss man has what it takes. Six man group at the front, 10k to go. Van der Poel goes again. Mathieu Van der Poel goes again. Julian Lafilippe and Will, we're gonna follow the world champion. Oh, no one has decided to follow behind. No one has decided to follow behind. Greg Van Aert has a bit of latency. Okay. I'm still going to follow Julian Lafilippe right now. Because he counter-attacked the uh, um, Dutch champion. Massive left-hander. Van der Poel still on the attack. This, this three-man group will go to the end. The question is, who will take the win in Siena? Is it going to be the world champion Julian Lafilippe? Is it going to be the Dutch champion Mathieu van der Poel? Or is it going to be the leader of Lotto Sudal Team Wellens? Well, who knows? Who knows? I certainly do not. We're going to take, the po uh, we're going to take points. Here, come on, son. I need to be first. I need to be leading. Good. Team Wellens is going to take the lead in the Via San Caterina. 1.2k. I need to be leading by the right hander. Come on, Tim. Team Wellens starts his efforts. 800 meters to go. Right hander. Left hander, right hander, right hander again. And because I was leading, Timo Lenz is going to win today in Siena ahead of Alaphilippe, Van der Poel, Wout van Aert with a very late comeback, Alberto Bittel to take fifth place, Kiat Korski in sixth, Van Avermaet, Thomas Pitcock with a very nice eighth position, which Stefan Kung in ninth place and rounding up the top 10 will be the veteran 41 year old Alejandro Valverde. Big performance from Movie Star, but what a win today by Timo Lenz. We take our first classic season, our first classic win, sorry, of the season. I think going into the Stradivante, I knew what I had to do to, to win. Um, and it wasn't to like sprint better than Alaphilippe or Van der Poel or whatsoever. It was just to be with them at like this point right here. Uh, and it was much tougher than I had actually anticipated. But with my plus three, uh, I'm not going to lie, things, made, things were made much easier uh, for me. And... Timo Lenz takes the win here on the Strade Bianche, um, which marks the end of this episode. Now, technically, this goes out on the Saturday, so tomorrow I think Paris starts. Um, there might be a conflict because, uh, technically speaking as well, this is the final uh, YTC episode tomorrow. However, however, the time I'm speaking, which is Friday the 5th of March, I'm yet to have the save, and I cannot recall this weekend. So, I'll try first to get Paranis out, I can't guarantee it. Uh, if I can't get Paranis, then I can't get YTC out, so you may have no content tomorrow, um, because I'm going back to Germany. So yeah, if there's nothing tomorrow, uh, it's, it's I, right, you'll have things on Monday, uh, and yeah. That's about it. Uh, I do hope you've enjoyed the episode today, though. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. If you're new on here and want to see more of my content in the coming days, then make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the very near future. But my name has been Black Hole. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. Have a great one and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm leading. All them all the man need feeding. I don't want to go bombay. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bailing. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Stopping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster.